seven big reasons to use WordPress. You no doubt have heard of WordPress, but if you're still not convinced that it's the best fit for you, then stick around. This video is just for you. You know, we've all heard of WordPress, but what makes it so popular? There are some big reasons as to why it's so widely used. And in this video, we'll run through seven of the biggest reasons why WordPress is the best tool, the best platform to build your website with. And if you stick with me all the way to the end, I have a bonus extra reason as well as a special gift for you over on the 10 ton website as well. So I hope you're ready for it. Let's get started. Reason number one, it's free as in zero cost, zero dollars to you. The only expense that you're going to have if you want to run a WordPress website is the cost of your domain name and the cost of your web hosting. If you want an idea as to how much these two things cost a uh, domain name is maybe about 15 bucks a year web hosting can be as cheap as five or six bucks a month or maybe around 60 bucks a year it's pretty reasonable stuff you may run into other expenses running wordpress to be completely honest however these additional expenses are optional for instance you can extend the capabilities of your WordPress website using something called plugins. There are many free plugins, but there are also some paid plugins as well. You may also want to make use of paid themes. Themes in WordPress are the layout or the design of your site. There are free themes and there are also paid themes. But again, this stuff is totally optional. So anyone can go and download the latest version of WordPress from WordPress.org for free and start using it. However, just because it's free, that's not a good enough reason. We need a better reason to actually want to use WordPress. So let's check out reason number two. Here's what I love so much about WordPress. It is dead easy for beginners to get started with. It has a, a very, a very low learning curve, I guess you could say, but it's powerful enough for more experienced designers and developers and, you know, people who have previous web design experience, I guess you could say. So WordPress is a very easy platform to get started on, but it's powerful enough for technical users to dig into and to start customizing. Now, for beginners, you don't need to know anything really about web design. You don't have to have any web design experience. You don't even need to know code or anything like that. It's as simple as using a word processor. You know, if you can use a keyboard and a mouse, they let you in the door. That's all there is to it. Pointing and clicking and navigating around just like that. It's super easy stuff. But at the same time, WordPress is powerful enough, like I say, for more experienced technical users, designers and developers to get into the guts of WordPress, the back end of WordPress, if you will, and really start to customize it and get it to do all kinds of crazy wild things. This is because, by the way, WordPress is open source. This means that anyone can use it for whatever they want and anyone can customize it and adjust it or you know turn it and push it in different directions to get it to do whatever the heck they want so experienced developers and experienced designers can gain full access to wordpress's background code the javascript the php the database even the css and anything else that's running sort of behind the scenes with wordpress so it's great for beginners it's powerful enough for technical users and experienced designers Reason number three, you can build any kind of website that you want with WordPress. Other web design platforms and web design software are limited. They can't handle the different kinds of websites that you can build. WordPress was originally built as a blogging platform, as I'm sure you know, but it very rapidly expanded its capabilities. 
And now you can use WordPress to build any kind of website you want, a small single page site or a static site, maybe a portfolio website or an author website, right on up to a full online store, a membership site, all kinds of stuff. In fact, in another video, I've identified the five different kinds of websites you can build for your business. I'll link up to that for you in the show notes below. WordPress can handle them all. So you can use WordPress to build any kind of website that you want. That is our third reason, third big reason for wanting to use WordPress. All right, on to number four. WordPress is a CMS at heart, a fully customizable CMS. CMS, by the way, stands for Content Management System. What the heck does that mean? Well, basically, it's a platform or a framework or a structure that controls the layout and the design and all of the site functionality. So you simply focus on writing and publishing content and the CMS handles things like page formatting, page layouts, fonts, and design, and all that stuff. You hit publish, and the content is automatically formatted by the CMS to match the rest of the website. This ensures that all the content is presented in the same way, whether it's written by you, or it's written by a freelance writer who you hire, or maybe coworkers, or business partners, or employees, or whoever the heck it is, Everything is always going to look uniform and the same because it's all under the control of this thing called a CMS. This is perfect, too, for just one person operations or maybe even for a whole team of people working on the same website. This means everything's consistent and everything's easy to manage. And I should mention, too, that it's easy to manage things like multiple users, comments, your content, spam control, site security, all that stuff is sort of inherent in a CMS. So being a CMS first and foremost makes WordPress an incredibly powerful platform. Number five, it's easy to change your site's design. WordPress site design and layout is controlled, as I said earlier on, by something called themes. Themes are the design that, think of it as the design that sits on top of your CMS. It makes everything look nice and pretty. And you can easily install new themes with a few mouse clicks. Change the entire look of your website in just a few seconds. It's pretty awesome. And all the existing content that you may have that already resides on your website simply conforms and adapts to the new layout that you've selected. Again, that harks back to the power of a CMS. And there are thousands and thousands of themes to choose from. Some of them are free, as I mentioned earlier on. Some of them are paid or premium themes, as they're called. And new ones are being made available all the time. Some themes are are actually more like a framework which allows you to install additional modules onto your site. Maybe some of them come with visual website builders that allow you to drag and drop to build custom layouts, things like this. Really, really powerful stuff. Or if you wanted to, you could even build your own custom theme. So themes make it very easy, super easy to make your site look amazing, whether that's on a desktop computer or on a mobile device, a tablet, a smartphone, and so on. We're down to reason number six, and that is that you can easily extend your site's capabilities. We talked very briefly about this earlier on, that you can extend your site's functionality or behavior or capabilities using something called WordPress plugins. Think of plugins as small add-on modules that give your site additional abilities. So things like photo galleries or maybe an e-commerce shopping cart, site security, social media sharing, contact forms, on and on and on. If you can think of it, there is very likely a plugin that's been built for it. Or, and I've done this in the past, you can hire a developer to build a custom plugin for you. And 
at the time of this recording, anyway, there are over 50,000 plugins currently available. Many of them are free, as I said earlier on. Some of them are paid or premium. Now, being able to add additional features onto our sites means that we can build our site and get it to do exactly what we want. And that is why being able to extend our site's capabilities is our sixth biggest reason for using WordPress. Reason number seven, WordPress is SEO friendly. No doubt you're interested in SEO. You want to make sure that your site shows up, of course, inside Google and the other search engines. And WordPress is built with SEO in mind. You can very quickly publish new content and search engines love new, fresh, frequent content. In addition to that, WordPress uses SEO friendly internal link structuring. This is called permalinks in WordPress lingo. And another thing I should mention related to SEO is WordPress's built in commenting and link back features. All of these features, all these things help add to your search engine rankings, or I should say help support your search engine rankings. So there are my seven big reasons for using WordPress to build your website. Ever since I discovered WordPress years and years ago, I dropped my old web design platform, which happened to be Dreamweaver. I used Dreamweaver for almost 10 years, but I dropped it like a bag of wet potatoes and I haven't looked back since. Every website I build and work on now, whether it's a small, simple site or a large, complex site, I only use WordPress. I have another video where I do an in-depth comparison, by the way, between WordPress and Dreamweaver, if you're interested. I'll link up to that for you down in the show notes below. Now, as I promised, I have a bonus reason. So let's go check that one out. Our bonus reason, WordPress has a huge online community. WordPress is much more than just a piece of web design software. It's even much more than a CMS platform. It's a part of the open source movement. This means that it has a loyal community of users and developers all around the world. There are tens of thousands of WordPress developers, millions of WordPress users all over the world, as I say. In fact, WordPress runs about 30% of all sites on the web, if you can believe it. So what does this mean for you? Well, it means that support and help are easy to find on the WordPress forums, on sites like Stack Exchange and so on. There are plenty of resources available. And there's an army of developers constantly working on and updating WordPress to ensure that it's protected from the latest viruses and hacking techniques and so on. So the core WordPress code, along with plugins and themes, are constantly being updated and new versions are released regularly. And what that boils down to for you and I is all we have to do is make sure our sites are updated to the latest version of WordPress and the latest version of our plugins and themes that we're using. And that boils down to simply clicking a button to ensure our sites are totally secure. So being part of a larger community means help is easy to find. All right, there you go. There's our seven big reasons, plus a bonus reason for using WordPress. I hope you enjoyed here. I hope you learned a little bit more about what WordPress is all about and how it works. Now, I promised you a free gift over on the 10 Ton website. You can go and check this out over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. There, what I've done is I've put together a free online video course that takes this whole discussion even further, this discussion of web design and building online businesses and so on. So I hope you'll join me there. All right, like I say, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had some fun. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.